Hi guys, Asuke here, and welcome to another sketchbook tour. Um, so yeah, I was doing, uh, I was testing out my marker, or my sticker maker, and I made these two stickers, and I also made these, but these I didn't make myself, like I, I like, um, they were like on, on toothpicks, and I kind of just ripped off the toothpicks, and I, um, stuck them through the sticker machine. Um, this is my OC Icarus, and this is my OC Mika. Um, Icarus is Oaken's older brother. Um, yeah. And on the back we have scrambles. This was around um, October, so it was around Halloween, and I made him a witch, a witchy chicken, and I drew um, cat and stuff with him. So this is Name, me, when I was trying to figure out his design, like, I didn't know, like, really anything about him, just kind of, like, the aesthetic. Um, so, yeah, he's kind of, he's very feminine in this, but he absolutely is not that feminine anymore. Um, this is his familiar Delacroix. Now, in my universe, there's a difference between a witch and a warlock. A witch makes a pact with a familiar, um, and the familiar can be summoned. Uh, via like spell or incantation or something like that and a warlock makes a pact with a demon and the demon resides inside of them so like the demon and the uh, human are like in a symbiotic relationship um, but once the contract is filled um, or the demon takes over the human whichever one comes first um, then the human soul like disappears and essentially just becomes a husk that the demon can uh, control. Um, just a little doodle from at work. Name, his final design. Um, my friend Ebony's um, OC Kiva. I was just seeing how I wanted his design to look. Um, me doing Victor, Kiva's love interest, but I decided that Victor is uh, Korean, so he doesn't look like that at all. Um, me doing Delacroix's human form, I took these two and combined them, and that's her in her phoenix form. Because Delacroix is uh, a phoenix familiar, which are very rare. Um, Name, I'm doing his, I was doing his color scheme, um, and this is Name's eye. Um, see his eyes are closed, but when they're open, that's what they look like. Um, and Name is a sigil witch. He draws his power from sigils and things like that, so he has like a grimoire that he collects all his sigils in. And the sigil that um, he and Delacroix made together for the pact was this. Um, it says our magic is for helping others and never for personal gain. Um, and this is an actual like sigil that I went online and designed myself. And a sigil gains its power from like, I think the longer the, like the more, like the longer and the more like detailed it is, the stronger it is. Um, so yeah, he collects, these are just some of the sigils from Nami's grimoire. Um, uh, yeah, just ones that he's collected, just simple ones. Um, there's Delacroix helping out in the shop. Um, I was trying to design a piece, like a tribute piece to our Call of Cthulhu um, RP that we did. It ended like in December. Um, so yeah, these are all our characters. Um, yeah. That's Mel. That's my character. This is just first generation. Like a couple of us died. And I was like the first one to die. <laughs> and that's Mel. That's uh, Leslie's younger s twin sister. Um, and she actually ended up living to the end of the game, um, because I was not there, like, the last couple sessions. Um, Ravi, he is a, um, a demon. Um, he's so cute. I might, like, design him older. This is just him as a kid. I might do him when he's older. Um, um, this is just fan art for somebody on Instagram, me mapping out a comic that I wanted to do with Name and Delacroix. Um, never ended up doing it. Um, I started, but then, like, I don't know, guys. I'm not good with digital stuff, and I'm too lazy to do it all traditionally either. So it's kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> I have to make myself do it one of these days. Uh, sketch. More planning. Um, redraw. 
my sister's OC that I drew for her, which I thought was really cute because she named it Rosita or Rosetta, and I used to name all my stuff that when I was around her age, so I thought it was funny. Um, because I didn't even tell her and she just named it that. Nane again, I guess I was in a little salty mood. Rune Factory 3 fan art. I love all the Rune Factory games, um, like the series. I have one through four for the DS. I have a couple for the PlayStation 2, and I got some for the Wii as well. Um, fan, um, request art from Drawing Amino. I just was drawn. They gave requests. Um, another request. Another request. Um, my OC Rowan. It's very manly. Um, Kyo. Uh, Kyo again, just doing different expressions. I could never, I cannot draw him. Like, I, it was his hair and it was just messing me up and his face and I don't know, it was just everything. So I decided to just redesign him eventually. Like his hair, not like his personality or anything. Um, art trade I did with Unlucky Mushroom on Instagram and Drawing Amino. That's a speed paint. Um, fan art for the Unfortunate life of Psyche Kusubo? Question mark, question mark. It's something along those lines. Um, but this is the protagonist, and that's one of his friends, quote unquote, and that was somebody's butt. I want to say his name is Ryuji or something like that. I don't know. But that's just. His pants are always getting pulled down, and Kusubo's like, not again. <laughs> He's like, I know that butt everywhere. He's like, everybody knows because his pants are always getting yanked down by something. Um, I decided to do like a Mary Sue character, like a, like if you don't know what Mary Sue is, it's just a very generic character, like, oh, this person's nice and he's kind and they're, they're, they're very like, n there's no, nothing really special about him or them. And I just made JD, which is like short for John Doe, and he's the protagonist and there's really nothing special about him. But he's got three admirers. They're brothers, um, oldest to youngest. Um, yeah, and they're all like super gorgeous, and everyone's like, "Oh my gosh!" And he's just like, "Why do you like me?" And they're like, they have their reasons. Um, there's JD again. I never finished it, but he was gonna be like intimate with somebody. Um, fan art for somebody on YouTube. I just decided to do their OC. Um, somebody asked me to draw a sexy lemon, so I drew, um, the sexiest lemon that I could think of. Um, Kiona pose that I copied. Um, a redraw of a chibi that I did. Um, my Dungeon and Dragons OC Mary. Um, he is Mary Aurelius. He's a champion fighter. He's super strong. He's the youngest in the group. And he's really fun to RP. I really like him a lot. I hope he doesn't die. <laughs> now this I am not going to show you guys because um, that was supposed to be an art trade and they did not draw their half. So I'm super salty and I'm not going to promote them so they can suck it. Um, they, uh, more planning, this was for, like, a, the JD thing, I wanted to do, like, a small comic or something, but, like, I, I, like I said, I just didn't, um, and this is, I did have my fursona, finally, um, she's a Australian Shepherd, and her name is Linaris, and she's, like, a very artsy, like, um, student, and she, she's in college, she's, you know, she's doing an art major and stuff like that, oh, yeah. Um, just pose practice, something that I was going to do and I did sketches for, but, um, yeah, I just haven't done anything else with it. Shibbies, um, of some of my OCs. Um, this is my OC Raven, my friend Ebony's OC Ebony, um, Kyo is Keiko, Name, um, I was watching Futurama. <laughs> And I drew Leela and, um, Zoiberg. <laughs> I love Dr. Zoiberg. He's, like, one of my favorite characters. Um, there's the Kyo and Aloise and just a random bunny. Another couple random chibi heads. Um, I was also listening to Critical Role around that time, so I drew Vax and Grog. 
I actually lined back because I liked how he came out. Um, doing Ebony's character, Ebony, um, like full, no, well, not full, but I just did a bust of her because I wanted to see her expression. That's her chibi of her. I know you can't really see it because I colored on the back. I forgot I'd drawn this. Um, Raven and Ebony. Um, there's Victor. His na his Korean name is Kyo Moon. So, um, yeah. And I just drew some non-reference to Sanji and Zoro because I haven't drawn fan art in a really long time and I just wanted to draw them. More Kyo, um, Kyo and Eloise. I'm making that into a sticker. I'm going to trace it and make it into a sticker, damn it, because that's so cute. Um, in Yasha, I was going to color in and I never did. Um, art trade with Kage. They drew, um, Kyo. And, um, yeah, this is their OC Augustine, I think his name is. Um, this is, like, my semi-realism phase. Um, this came out really good. Um, this was, like, the first one. This was a sketch that I did. I have the colored in the back. I'll show you guys at the end. But, um, this was a sketch I did in Carmine Red Coley Race. This was light brown coldly braised colored this one in too um my OC Teddy he's a gamer um he plays on um this game that me and my friend made up uh I think it's called like T TL TL something it's like Twilight something I can't remember um work doodles um I found in my pockets before thankfully before I washed my scrub top like this is like the rare time I have anything like to doodle at work which I did this at work but it was on my dinner break um art trade with Koas um this is their OC Darren they drew um Raven just did that at work on dinner break um this was light this was dark blue I believe it wasn't my light blue because my light blue won't even show up on camera um but yeah that's I colored this one into a trace and colored it in um did this one this was a speed paint um this is Yoram this is Kyo's younger half brother um this is Mikael Yoram's best friend this is <laughs> Yoram calls him um Lily <laughs> And he doesn't like anybody else calling him Lily, except for, uh, he puts up with Yoram calling him Lily, which I think is kind of cute. Um, Mikkel is a, um, nymph, and Yoram is also half Incubus because him and Kyo share the same dad. Like, um, like, uh, they have different mothers. Well, kind of. Kyo's parents were both male, but Yoram's mother is uh, a female. Um, yeah, that's just a stupid little doodle that I did. Um, Raven and Ebony, I copied this, like the poses, but I just, I don't like it because I didn't scale them right. Like this one's fine, it's these two that I don't like. <laughs> like if this, if her head was a little bit smaller, then it would be, it would be fine. Um, Art Trade with Addict with a Harpoon, this is their OC Glitch. Um, just scribbles, um, I was at the library and just doing out this, I was going to trace them and color them in, but I just haven't yet. Um, me trying to redraw that, um, petty boop, but it didn't come out. Um, me planning something for Kyo and Eloise, I was trying to draw Suga from BTS, question mark, question mark, somebody asked me to draw him, so, cause they saw my other, um, semi-realism stuff. Um, my younger sister really is into um, Pen Zero, part-time hero, so I was just drawing Pen and Boone in my style. Um, Kyo and Eloise, just a little comic thing that I ne never finished. Um, Kyo with his new hair, because I was just sick of drawing his hair. Um, this is Kyo with his new hair as well, but that's like me actually drawing it out. Um, little thing of Kyo um, that I should have done a speed paint for, but I didn't, but came out really well. Um, OC of somebody, Mika, Eloise, and Kyo. There's the sketch for this. Um, I ended up painting it. There's Lionel, and there's Lionel and, um, Rowan. 
absolutely love them. I'm trash for that ship too. Just to little, to little animals. Um, this is Rowan's old, younger brother. No, older brother. Rowan's older brother, um, Adriano. Uh, he's Italian as well. Um, Rowan's, Ita uh, Rowan's Italian name is, um, Fabiano, so, um, or Fabian, whichever, like, they call him, they used to call him Fabian and stuff, but, uh, once he became a warlock, he became Rowan. Um, this is me just swatching Rowan's co bleh, Yoram's colors. Um, this was actually back, like, where Yoram was, but the pencil has been, like, super smudgy lately. I don't know if it's just the lead that I'm using or whatever, but, um, yeah. So this is just to protect Adriano, even though it didn't work very well. Um, just did, I found a picture on Pinterest and I just drew it, testing out my brush markers again. Covered up half of her face because that's the better half. Um, this is little fan art of Nye. Um, this is Mika Shinomori's character, Nye, and his daughter, me, um, Ellie. And right now I'm RP Nye. We're RP, Nye, and Name together. So yeah, um, this is Yoram in a different style. This is Jay, um, my friend's character. Um, we're RP, him, and I made up, um, a character. His name is Belle Lily, and, um, he's, like, Native American, and he's so cute. Um, this is just, a uh, little post-it notes. I was having a bad drawing day fan art of, like, they asked, it was like a request, kind of, but I was like, oh, I'll draw it, and I was like, oh, okay, thanks, um, I was listening to a sailor song, and I was like, I need to make a siren or a mermaid, Victor, and somebody, this is a random guy, um, Boxy the Ghost, he's probably one of my oldest OCs I made up when I was, like, 10, um, that's Belle Lily, I accidentally colored on, I, well, I didn't accidentally, but I colored on the back, and I forgot he was there. Um, but yeah. Uh, request from somebody. Request, I drew him earlier in the sketchbook. Didn't color him in yet, though. Did this little birdie for a, um, challenge. He's super, he's super cute. Um, I'll bring him up so you guys can see him a little bit better. Yeah, he's, he's cute. Um, Kyo in a questionable pose. Um, made an OC for an RP that I started and I feel kind of guilty about not responding but like this way this person's RP and I just I don't understand um I covered this part up because I mean it doesn't show anything but it's, it's very risque <laughs> um this is Name and that RP that's Nye and that RP um I'm showing it because there's nothing there's just bare chests um this is fan art um, of, from Room Factory 4. This is my character. Um, her, I named her Suna, and that's the person I'm probably going to marry. His, um, he's the prince. His name is Arthur, and I just wanted to draw a little woolly who's like this little sheep character in all the um, Room Factory games. I just absolutely love him. Um, just sketching this out, um, and I colored it in with my brush pen. Um, I really like how he came out. He just, uh, it was so cute. Um, I drew Izumi from Love Stage because I was watching Nairo's stream and she was doing um, his love interest in the show. And I was like, I gotta draw Izumi. Because they, I copied this pose, by the way, guys. I wrote copied. Um, I totally copied the pose because I was too lazy to actually, like, draw it myself. Um, this is an art trade that I'm doing right now with, um, Ko Koas on um, Sir OC. I'm waiting on, see I didn't finish it because I'm waiting on them to send me their update and it will not get finished until I get that update. Like I was saying, um, sorry my camera ran out of memory, um, like I was saying I'm not too worried about the sketch layer because what takes it's more consuming, time consuming, it's actually like coloring it in and everything, and it's a waste of my markers, um, when I'm not, you know, reimbursed or whatever with the art that I was promised. So, yeah. Um, I was just felt trying, this was like the last couple pages, so I was like, what am I gonna draw? I need to finish up this sketchbook. Um, so I just drew the, the three chibi, 
<laughs> no, this isn't the Chibi Musketeers. I didn't draw Ophelia. This is Bambi. This is Rowan's child. Um, it's Chihiro and Akihito. I drew their ages. They're like three years apart. Three or four years apart. Um, just doing little, um, things. I might make this into a sticker. I really like how that came out. I drew Kyo with his little incubus, uh, tail and horns. Um, yeah, I just, I love Kyo's incubus form. I don't draw it very often. Um, but yeah, I was just doing, like, little doodles. There's Scrambles again. He's wearing kind of like one of those, like, those people wear, like, in Japan when they're, like, harvesting, like, rice and stuff, like those bowl hats or whatever. And I was just drawing, like, some 80s stuff. I wanted to draw a mullet. Um, and I drew that mullet again right here. The scrambles. I was just testing out my, um, my calligraphy fountain pen. And I was just doing some little doodles. Um, he's, a, he's supposed to be, like, a little mouse character, but I don't know if you guys can tell. He's kind of awkward. This is a sketch for something that I'm... Uh, having rough concept ideas for. And there's Name with a little plant and Lady Delacroix on his shoulder. Because she's so cute. And that's Kyo thanking you guys for sticking with me to watch this sketchbook. He's like, why am I doing this? He doesn't like it. He does not want to do this. Um, and I'll show you guys what's in the pockets. I'll let you go. Um, this was that mermaid that I showed you before. I was really into like I had this really good concept and it's super duper long you guys obviously can't see it all but um yeah it's it's a pretty big piece and I have to get a piece of paper to um to draw to do the final on and I'm thinking about painting it um here's a little um comic strip that I did of Kyo and Eloise um thought it was really cute. I used my calligraphy pen. Um, here's a ink wash painting that I did of Kyo. Um, it was that sketch that I showed you guys before. And, um, yeah, I'll just show you a little up close up close look. Um, yeah, I was really proud of that. Um, here are the sketches from the little cream boys that I showed you earlier. I did these in marker. Um, this is a speed paint. If you guys want to see it. This is not a speed paint, but, um, yeah, I colored it in. I wasn't feeling too good, so I was like, I don't feel like recording. Colored this in. I really like how this one came out. Um, I just like the colors and how soft they are. Um, and this is just a clip in from a magazine. But, uh, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry it's a little bit longer. I ramble on a lot. Um, so thank you guys for sticking around. And I hope to see you next time, guys. So stay warm, stay safe, live a happy life. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!